In Burma, Nobel Peace Prize laureate Aung San Suu Kyi says Mr. Mandela helped the world understand that no one should be punished for the color of their skin. He also made us understand that we can change the world. We can change the world by changing attitudes, by changing perceptions. For this reason, I would like to pay him tribute as a great human being who raised the standard of humanity. In New Delhi, Tibet's exiled spiritual leader, the Dalai Lama, says he considered Mr. Mandela as a respected elder brother. Sad, just feel sad and pray. It's not much meaning. Now we must develop determination or enthusiasm to carry uh, his spirit. That's very really important. It's sometimes a sadness can translate into more willpower. So that, I think, now time come. Should think that way. Outside South Africa's embassies all over Asia, people came to pay their respects. In the Chinese capital, young students gathered and spoke about Mr. Mandela's influence. Nelson Mandela fought for freedom and was a fighter his entire life. He did not give up because of temporary setbacks or because there was no progress. His spirit has infected us. Nelson Mandela first visited China in 1992 and later solidified the relationship when South Africa switched its diplomatic recognition from Taiwan to China. In Beijing, China's leaders paid tribute to the man they called an old friend of China. Premier Li Keqiang expressed condolences for the anti-apartheid hero. We are in deep sorrow. The Chinese government and people send our deepest regrets and condolences to the government and people of South Africa. Official reaction aside, the old freedom fighters passing also sparked an online debate in China about who was or could be the country's very own Mandela. Some mentioned Liu Xiaobo, China's Nobel Prize laureate who is serving an 11-year prison sentence. Others say that for now, that is impossible. Bill Eyde, VOA News, Beijing.